Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Codepipe. We are currently designing front-end for our Area 51 e-commerce website. In the last video, we saw how to download and install Visual Studio Code. In this video, we will see how to initialize our Django application. So this is our Visual Studio Code. We saw this in the last video. Now I'm going to open a new folder where I will create the Django application and the virtual environment. So I will go to File, Open Folder. On my desktop, I have this Area 51 demo. So I will select this and I will open this. Next, I'll open a terminal. Here we can see we are into Area 51 demo. First of all, we need to create a virtual environment. For that, we will use Python minus M V E N V and our environment name. So let's call it demo. If you see at the explorer, we can see the demo file here. So our virtual environment is created. Now we can open this using two things. We can either use interpreter or we can activate using this. So using CMD, we can go to demo scripts and use activate. But since we are using Visual Studio Code, let me show you how to use interpreter. So I will use control shift P and I will say select interpreter. Enter the path, find the path and we can see we are into area 51 demo, demo scripts, python.exe. We can see here our demo virtual environment is activated. To make it activated in the CMD also, I will use a small hack that is if I create a new terminal, the virtual environment is already activated. I will kill the previous one. So first of all, we will install Django. Now Django is installed. Now we can start creating our Django application. For that, if you are a real beginner and don't know much about Django, I will recommend you going through the Django documentation. In the browser, if we search for getting started with Django, we will get one link of djangoproject.com where it will show us the simple ways using which we can start using Django. So if you are a person who likes to go through a documentation, please have a look. Otherwise, I will guide you through the process. As our Django is installed, we can use Django admin start project and I will call it area 51 underscore demo. So Django admin is the command start project is we are asking it to start a project and area 51 demo is the name. Once this command is run, we can see we have area 51 demo and if we open this, we can see we have one file with the same name and manage.py and this file will contain our core application of Django like settings and WSGI. Most of the things we will be doing in this settings.py file. So as our Django project is started, we need to get into the project folder. So I will cd it. Now to run our Django application, we can use python manage.py run server. Now the server is running, but if we see here, we are getting one error which says we have unapplied migrations. It is good that we got this error. So I will use control C to quit the server and I will apply the migrations. For that we have to python manage.py migrate. It will make all the migrations. To apply these migrations, we need to use python manage.py make migrations. Okay, there are no changes detected, but to be sure, I will just run migrate once again. Okay, no migrations to apply. Now I will run the server and we are running it without any error. If we see this link and if we alt plus click, it will automatically open in a new tab on your default browser. So we can see this is working. So our Django application worked. Now our Django project is started. Now we need to see how many individual applications we need inside our Django project. For that, what we need to do is we need to create what all functions or what all models we will require. This is something we have to do at the very start. These are the applications that I think I will need. I will need users that will login into the website and purchase items. I will need products that will contain all these things. I will need orders which will be orders, wish list, cart, etc. And then I will need a seller application which will hold the seller information as well as the backend for seller. Now let's create these four applications. So in our editor, I will close our server and I will use python manage.py start app and I will say app users. I will strongly suggest not to use any regular names like user or any other name that might be present in the default Django application. So I'll use app users and we can see here our app users is made. We will create our next application. This time, let me show you another way we can create application. So I can also use Django admin start app and this time we will be using product. So if I press enter, our product application is 
made then i will make order after order i will make seller and there's one more application we need to include that is blog so i will also include blog here now once we are done with the application creation we need to put it into our settings.py so i will go to area 51 demo i will go to settings.py here if we scroll down we will see installed apps so here we need to include all the applications we made so first one is app users comma next is order next is product next is seller and finally we have blog it is not necessary that we should always put them in order we can put them anywhere now our task with applications is done we have created them and we have put them in installed apps next thing to do is we need to initialize templates for that under the main folder i will create a new folder which will be templates under templates i will create a new file which will be base.html here we will need to inform django settings that we are using templates and this template folder will available into each of the individual application and you have to fetch it from their individual folders how we will do that is we'll go to settings.py if we scroll up we will see base directory first of all we will import os after that we will use template underscore dir or dirs so we will use os.path.join base directory and templates this template directory will ensure that we are also able to see templates from inside individual applications we will create a template folder in a second we will copy this template dir we will scroll down we are looking for templates and in this dirs we can see there is a blank list so we can put it here save it and we are done with this template thing now as i have mentioned we will need to create templates for each of the individual applications why we need to create individual folders is these django applications are made in such a way that if we copy this into different django applications it should work on its own so we are trying to include everything from that application into that folder so i will make a new folder in each of the applications with the name templates and inside this templates we will need to create a folder with the same name of application that is app users so that we are aware which template is placed in which folder once the template folder is created on all the applications we are good to go now if you are using html files we will be using css to style them we will be using some static images and svgs to render our html page so we will need to create a static folder which will contain all of these images and svgs and css so let us create a static folder in the main folder just like templates we need to inform our django project that we are using static like this so in our settings.py if we scroll down we will see here static files so if you are new to django you can follow this link to understand it better but this is quite simple static url is already given we need to provide static files directory for that we will use static files dirs is equal to we will make a list which will say os.path.join base directory and static now this will work fine but just a side note here whenever we will put this into production we will not use the same folder of static that is in our local folder we will be hosting it somewhere like aws or any other application so we will say if debug this will happen and the else part we will see while we will put it in production as soon as we put debug is equal to false we mean that this project is into production and production settings will be applied so that time we will not use this so it's better to initiate it at the start after this we will see if our templates and static are working or not so i will update the base.html here we will take advantage of the extensions we have installed so i will use html and it will give us the option to use auto filling so i will use this and i have my html document ready i will just take a h1 heading and put this is home page here we should always keep one thing in mind our html file our views.py file and our urls.py file are interconnected so if we want to make any substantial changes we need to update all of them three but be aware that these three files are interconnected our html file is ready now we need to render it using views.py file since this is a home page i will want it to be in the main folder 
so in the main area 51 demo folder i will create a new file with the name views.py in this file we will use from django.shortcuts import render i will create a simple function that will render the home page html so let me call it home we need to give request here i will say return return render first of all as per convention we need to give request next we need to give template name and this drop down is also helping us with the syntax now our base.html is in the main templates folder so i will just use home.html now we will go to urls.py in the same folder and here i will import views from dot views import all from dot views means area 51 views dot means the parent folder and star means import everything so our admin path is already given so we will use new path which will be blank indicating this will be home page and we will use here home since we imported everything we will not be using views dot home just home will do if we run our server if we go to the page we are getting one error here home.html does not exist so if we check again go to our views.py home.html in our main panel okay so it is base.html save this it is reloading if we go to our browser refresh this okay we are getting this is home page with this we are sure that our django application is running and our templates folder are also connected properly to summarize this video we initialized our django project we initialized django applications we saw how we can use templates we saw how we can use static from the next video we will create the html templates for our website so stay tuned if you are coming to the channel for the first time i upload videos on every sunday regarding web development python and django hit the subscribe button to not miss any more videos let me know your thoughts in the comment section and we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios